Hey guys, how you doing? I'm proud to say I am the owner of a brand new 2013 Honda CB400 Super 4. And if you want to get real technical, it says here on the dash, Hyper VTEC Revo. So, um, <laughs> that's a pretty long name if you add all that to it. So yes, um, it's Monday now. Got it on Friday. Been riding it heaps. I've already got how many Ks on it? 325 kilometers. 1,000 kilometers until the braking period's over. But I just wanted to show you a bit of the bike. And then just after this, I'll um, cut to the first ride I did when I was bringing it home from the dealership. Um, it's a little dirty at the moment. It's dusty. It's got smudges on it. It's got dead bugs on it. But um, I'm not going to do a proper walk around of it yet. Not until I've finished the braking period. Because after that, I'll put an exhaust on it. And then um, I'll... Um, also, I'll, obviously I'll wash it so it's nice and clean I'll put an exhaust on it so it'll sound nice I'll do a comparison between that and the new exhaust and also after a thousand Ks I will have had it done a decent amount of riding on it so I can give you guys some uh, at least not, not so much a review I don't really consider myself that knowledgeable on bikes but um, just my thoughts and impressions on it really considering I have owned three bikes so just what I think of it after a thousand k's of riding one. So just a quick little look of it at the moment. So as you can see it's black. It's got a bit of a gold bronzy colour on the paintwork here. It's very subtle. In the sunlight it stands out quite a bit you can see there. But on the other side when it's not in the sun it's very dull. You can't really see it at all. It's quite nice actually. I like it. And it's got the gold bit of suspension there and the brakes. It's pretty nice. Anyway, it's my new bike. Absolutely love it. It's amazing. It's such a good bike. I'm loving it at the moment. Absolutely loving it. So I hope to make lots of new videos with it. And like I said, do a proper walk around more in depth. Show you more of the bike. Do more with it. So at the moment, just a quick little brief look at it. Look at it. So anyway, I got to I got to some footage now of my first ride of it. All right. Thanks, guys. So hey everybody, how are you going? This is my new bike, 2013 Honda CB400 Super 4. Black model, and it's got a bit of gold there. It's not too bright or anything. And I'm um, about to take it home. So bloody excited. Can't wait. I'm in a bit of a hurry to get home, but I gotta take it really easy though. Because the tires are slippery and uh, you know, engine's gotta, gotta go through the break-in period. Oh. oh, it feels so good to be on a bike again. One that I can finally call mine. <laughs> it's so good. So, three months later, and I finally have a new bike. And this bike is fucking unbelievable. I am so excited. Fortunately, I can only take it up to 5,000 RPM. Which sucks. And they told me it's not a good idea to put an aftermarket exhaust on it until after the break-in period, which is the first 1,000 kilometers. But, uh... I guess I'll just have to deal with that. So much traffic there. So this bike was such a pain in the ass to get. Like, I put the deposit down three weeks ago, but I finally got it. Had to pretty much tell them to friggin' do their job. <laughs> nah. It's just that, I don't know, they must have been having troubles getting it delivered and it just took them forever to get it done and we had to call it almost every day. But it's over. I've paid for it, it's bought outright, it's done. It's all mine now. My own bike. My third bike. I've been riding for a year and I'm already on my third bike. 
and it's 40 degrees today and I am sweating like a pig. Oh my god, it's horrible. Come on, traffic. Let's move. So yeah, 5,000 RPM. That's the sort of shit. They said, what they told me was that I should take it up to 5,000 RPM for the about first 500 kilometers and then after that take it to about 8,000 just until the 1,000k service and then I can do whatever I want with it. Whoa, look at that bike. What is that? Aprilia, there you go. I'm a biker again, yay. So I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, but for reasons I've sort of ran out of footage over the past three months. Because I had a massive bank of footage, and I decided that there wasn't really much footage left over that I really approved of. I don't know. That I really wanted to upload that I thought was interesting. So I just waited it out until I got my bike. Oh, it feels so good. Like, you know what's weird? I don't know if most manufacturers do this, but they told me that they had to literally assemble the bike today like when the bike gets delivered to them it comes in a box in pieces so i they, they received the bike yesterday in a box and they spent yesterday and all this morning putting the bike together and i got it with 4ks on it because i have to test ride it obviously but uh so my bike was literally hand built in australia so yeah i totally plan to get this 1000ks done in like a week so I can get this break-in period over and done with <laughs> but uh because I just want to rev the shit out of this thing and just thrash it and have some fun because this bike is friggin amazing so yeah in terms of modifications for this bike obviously it's completely stock at the moment but my only plans at the moment are to put a Ixel exhaust on it it's an Australian exhaust the same people that make Masaris and Screaming Demons I found one from their own website for $500 but the dealer recommended that I don't put one on until the break-in period is over which is fair enough I was going to do it straight away but they said wait so might as well listen to them they probably know what they're talking about I'm going to be riding every day now because I have been losing my mind riding is my passion like as I'm sure for most people who ride they don't just do it because it's like they drive to work like for some people it might be, but for me it's a passion and for every single day that I wasn't riding, I was dying. It was horrible. Yes, this is me getting melodramatic. But uh, I was dying. <laughs> I could not wait to get this bike back. And now I finally have it and I am just over the fucking moon. I'm so happy. So happy. Feels so good. This is my natural habitat. <laughs> This is where I'm meant to be on a motorcycle. Just feels so good and so right. So yeah, I'll make a few videos, but I don't think I'm going to do a walk around or a sound video or anything like that until after it's out of the break-in period, because then I can rev it properly and then I'll have the exhaust on it by then. So. That's when I'll use it properly. That guy was just at Action Motorcycles where I bought this from. I'm thinking of filtering, but I don't really want to. Because I don't want to get pulled over on my first day. Oh, fuck it, I probably will. It's 40 degrees, I don't want to get stuck in traffic. Plus, I got somewhere to be in like literally 8 minutes. I have to get home, pick up my brother, and then go out again. That's not going to happen, <laughs> so I really need to get moving. Oh. I guess I'm just going to have to filter. And this bike's pretty cool because you know, it's got the analog speedo and taco, which I like. It's sort of classic. Who knows, maybe, you know, I actually really like cafe racers, so who knows, one day... I might own a cafe racer. 
but that's long term. That's real long term. <laughs> At the moment, I'm just gonna put the exhaust on it. Maybe a few little other things. I'm not sure yet. I'm just gonna enjoy it. Oh, it's such a pleasure to ride. It's so smooth. It's so comfortable. The seat on this thing is so soft. And I actually found out when we was, the, deal, the salesman was showing me the bike that it actually has a boot. When you take the seat off, it actually has a compartment and it's actually fucking massive. So I can actually put stuff in here, but I have to take the seat off. So that's a little annoying, but handy at the same time. Ah, uh, it feels so good. I've officially done 10 kilometers on my new bike. This bike's gonna sound insane with an exhaust on it. here but I just wanted to get in front of the car. <laughs> get me that RV out. God I love lane splitting. Wow that V4 sounds amazing. Good old RVF 400. It's getting so hot. Had to be 40 degrees today. Had to be. And I'm excited. My first bike with a fuel gauge. Let him get ahead a bit. So much traffic. My legs are fucking on fire. It's horrible. So horrible. Man, this seat is so soft, it's insane. Softest seat I've had out of all my bikes. Awesome. I'm gonna be able to ride for hours. Yeah. Should probably get a tank pad for this as well. I'm probably gonna scratch the tank eventually, I don't really want that. I'm gonna get rid of those stickers too, they're ugly. VTEC there. Naughty Michael. Not supposed to do that. So hard to resist. I'm such a rev head. I love stretching the gears. Every gear. <laughs> That's what I've done on all my previous bikes. So they've all been used, so I've been able to rip them up from the get-go. Now that I can't, uh, first world problems, eh? And my first fuel injected bike, that's going to be cool. Fuel injection, fuel gauge, all the fuel benefits. Oh, and it's got the longest fuel range of all the bikes I've owned so far. So yeah, the list just keeps on going. It's the bike that just keeps on giving. Damn, I want to take it further! So it goes... The red line is 15,000 RP, no, no, it's not. The red line is 13,000 RPM. It says it goes to 15,000, but the red line is 13,000. Oh, fuck. That's still pretty good, I'd say. Oh, fuck, I'm hot. I'm so late. Five minutes late, and I still gotta go home and pick up my brother and then leave. Luckily, it's only far, not far from home. Oh. So hot. So anyway, I'm nearing the end of my ride, guys. My first ride on my brand new baby, my 2013 Honda CB 400 Super 4. Oh my god, you have no idea how happy I am to be back on a motorcycle. Well, you probably do have an idea. Oh. Yo! I have no idea! I've been so fucking sad the past three months. Yes, I've gotten to ride little bits, but not having a bike has sucked so much. I'm so fucking happy. I'm so happy. Oh my god. So I want to thank you guys, definitely, all my subscribers, for supporting my channel, definitely, during this period of... I guess you could say of 
three weeks of that video as I guess is pretty shitty on my behalf. I'm sorry for that, but I definitely plan to upload more videos now that I've got a brand new bike. And uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I've got a new bike, yes. I'm trying not to scream like a little girl. That's just how excited I am. I'm so excited. Take it really easy around here because it's really fucking sharp angled. I'm already over revving it, but uh, should be fine. Fuck, all my limbs are on fire. It feels like it's like a hundred degrees between my fucking legs, and then it's forty degree wind. It's horrible. So anyway, I'll end the video here. Expect more soon. And uh, thank you guys, and I'm so happy. <laughs> but uh, yes, I'm very happy. So yes, see you guys later.